What's going on everybody? It's Sprite. So today I'm excited to show you pea berries. Now, even though there are no a wise man once said, there are no peas which are berries, and there are no berries which pea. But I think these two things actually go together. So again, the peas are gonna be your early game. Uh, and your finisher. The click peas, black IP, really strong cards in themselves, too. So you don't even need any pea synergy. Uh, just as a bonus, pun intended, you have Gatling P coming in, one of the stronger finishers in the game coming in on turn five. Can cover any of those peas and do an instant, and convert them basically into an instant five damage. The other thing running is berries, which again, you don't have a ton of good berry cards. You have Sergeant Strongberry, which obviously is your main. Berry synergy, anytime a berry does damage, it'll do two. If you have two of these on the field, they obviously become insane because then they start doing the Sergeant Strongberry loop and infinitely uh, hitting something to death because uh, each of them see each other do the two damage. You got your Berry Blast, then Strawberryian is fine. This can be used as field clear. So the, the connection, again, the synergy between peas and berries is the fact berries don't have very good early game. We're running high voltage current. I want to keep an eye on this and see if it's going to be good. I think we can get a lot of value. From the high voltage current uh, but you don't have like really good twos where we're going to run shelf room like you know wild berry not a very consistent card so instead we're going to be running a lot more consistent cards like black ip click p answers basically anything on turn one because you end up with a bunch of two cost three threes in your deck and it trades evenly uh split p also being a really powerful and again consistent card you get to pick what lane this ends up in. also the one damage ping is overall a good thing because it gives you superpowers which will help you finish off your opponent um, and th it's going to be both, again, your your early game and then your big finish in the end. And then sort of the mid game is going to be dominated by berries or also running Bananasaurus Rex, uh, which is a very good card to imitate. Imitator sort of glues this deck together. If anyway wanted to do a good deck with Imitator Gatling piece, since, you know, getting two 5-4 double strikes in the field is ridiculous, you can Imitate her on turn 4. Uh, Gatling on five. Imitator goes very good though into even Strawberryian because you'll have two of these and they synergize in any little card you play. You can play like Strawberryian High Voltage Current on turn four and then you're able to like splash down a whole bunch of cards since both of these are going to be doing uh, one damage in the adjacent lanes. Getting two Sergeant Strongberries obviously is really good because then you end up with a Sergeant Strongberry loop. Two Bananasaurus Rexes, again, you know, one four is difficult to remove on turn three, and then, you know, it turns into another Bananasaurus Rex. Like, one Bananasaurus Rex on turn four might, you know, is a pretty easy card to deal with, but two of them is a nightmare, uh, and they're not going to be able to deal with both of them. So, uh, yeah, and you can come in just even just dry after you've developed your field, just dry Gatling P for 10 damage is really good, running a couple of plant foods. I think this deck could actually glue together a, a very nice, so let's see how it goes. Hope you guys enjoy. This Captain Combustible, after all. Running two plant foods, and you also have time to shine. Let's see how this deck does. If you think this deck will go 8 wins out of 10 vote, yeah, 7 and 3 or fewer vote now. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Framba. Uh, the other cool thing you can do is just even on turn 4, Imitator Click Peas is, you know, for 4 costs, you're getting two 3 threes on the field, which is a very good value. So we got one to the two. Which one of these are going to be better? We could just keep this hand. We could also mulligan. It's a bunch of twos to be keeping. I wonder if Black IP or Split P is going to be better against Super Brains. I'm going to go with my gut. Say Black IP. Don't want to berry blast. All right. Probably ended up with a worse hand, worse hand than we started with. That's okay. Click P again will answer anything he plays on turn one. We will take this trade. Don't want him playing space time and getting a legendary two turns early. If he plays space time, we have an answer to Black IP. Event. Oh, it is definitely my time to shine. Let's go. If he passes here, the Black IP just crushes him. This has to happen. We can very blast this next turn. Uh, really nice that he's playing on heights means we don't have to play around laser base alpha next turn, which is very common follow-up to uh, Doctor Who. Doctor what? See, I, I think it punishes, because environments don't do anything. He could deadly. This punishes him so hard. I wonder if I should even grow this. It's not choppable. If he plays one more trick of this, I think I'm going to hold off on the Embiggen for now. I know it's a tempo, but if he rockets it, this gets punished. 
I'm guessing he's just gonna play like Barrel of Barrels or Smoke Bomb, but it, it punishes him so hard. We'll come into next turn with a 3 4. I named some. He goes for Super Brain's power, so he'll probably just go phase, which means we get a 3 3 and a 3 4. He gets two conjures. And probably doesn't do anything else. Imagine pl if he plays another trick here. He'd be like, <laughs> he'd be down to 12 though. Meanwhile, it's down to 14. I'll probably just berry blast this now. He got value, but that kind of wasted his super. He traded his super really for for two cards. This, it, I'm not saying it's a terrible play by him, but here's another 3-3. Three, three. So this is a really good compliment to the berry blast here. There's that. There's no real need to deal with this. I think getting us, you know, getting cards, he's already conjured a bunch, so both of us drawing cards is probably overall better for us. Uh, so let's just pile on some damage, and we have Gatling P coming in this turn. Ever heard about decks found Plant Food? Plant Food really is a staple finisher in Mega Grow. You know, you end up with one big card, Plant Food really puts the game away. You kind of need a card like that in every deck, whether it be going viral or for the Hardy class or, you know, bonus attack, some kind of lurch for lunch or some or mustache monument for the brainy class. Every, 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 uh, <laughs> every deck could use some, fi some finishers. So he leaps that. So give that man a pogo. Don 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 don, absolutely terrible. So we can go three and one, or we can just go five to face. We can also go one plus four. No 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 no. I wonder if it's worth it to imitate her and begin to kill this and then get double Gatling next turn. La 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 la. So now that the Gatling P kills this, I think I'm just gonna go face it. And again, tricks are severely punished by the Black Eyed Pigs. I'll let him get the 5 drop, it's a little sad, but we have so much. He does get the chop. We can win with double ones, right? <laughs> Call it easy! <laughs> I predicted the future! Not like that. Wow. Ah, uh, we didn't need that. We were <laughs> we were gonna win that game with Plant Food anyway. I'll take it though. Team. Let's try to get that aggro aggressive start against Super Brains, who is really not good at dealing with aggression. I wonder if I keep this. It could be good. We'll have berries set up and stuff. We can go for like the double play. I can also just go two, three, four, which is slow. Maybe I'll just try that. Just for science. If he plays like a mini ninja, I'll spam. I think I don't play this right now. The play is going to be two, three, four. Which is really high value. And then this will end up coming. Instead of pinging the block meter for one this turn, one next turn, and then one on turn three, it's never worth it. Uh, again, there's a little bit of a reason why I don't play high voltage current is that if you're not following it up with a berry the next turn, even if you do, it, it still is pinging for a two. It just gives opponents a lot of block meter charge, so. Which are uh, arguably just as valuable as this thing. So he's putting an aggressive three attack on the field. We will answer that with an aggressive four attack. So. Um, I'm just trying to think towards next turn. The imitator would probably the the, the sorry Sergeant Strongberry would want to go would be the one attacking. So imitator would go here, and then Sergeant would go here, and then we could we could paint. Well, we can do that anyway. I think things go from left to right. Anyway, this always goes here. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't have a smoke bomb. This isn't the same super brain, sorry. Oh. Okay. Nope. Must have his name Jack or something.
La, 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 la. So, the, the, again, this is the one that's going to be attacking first, so I'll, I'll put this here. Trades that for Kite Flyer, that is fine. Guys, I love this play, though. I, I'll take this. This is four damage to phase, prevent him from drawing a card, maintain a 4-1 on the field. I mean, that's that's a time to shine. That is definitely enough value. I'm really more cautious uh, using time to shine. Just the fact the opponent doesn't have to play around it. It's just, I just know when I'm playing against time to shine, it's always a nightmare. So that's cool. That's cool and all. These, the, the, so this strawberry is going to kill you. I don't really have a way to ping this thing, though. There isn't some way of manipulating this. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll take this play. So that's gonna hit. This actually doesn't do anything. We could do this play though. Oh, that's really good. Never mind. <laughs> I almost missed it. The Ambigan is insane there. It makes us win the trade. Which means we're going phase for another 4 damage. Filling up our block meter. Hell yeah. Chop. It's okay. It's gonna happen eventually. And here's Gatling. It's just gonna finish him. The man is dead. So far, this deck, like most of the Captain Combustible decks we do, absolutely rolling opponents. That was a time to. That was a tempo time to shine. I, I see a lot of people in the YouTube comments, and they they kind of criticize me, saying I don't use time to shine liberally enough. They're saying I need to play it earlier in order to gain. Tempo. I'm not so sure. Not so sure about that. But there, though, it was such a huge, you know, tempo and damage swing that you just play it there, man. So we got one, two, three, four. And again, I don't see myself playing this on one. I'm not so sure about the high voltage currents in this deck. Maybe I'll just get rid of them. I'm not. Imagine if we had like a good solid one here. I wonder what it would be even. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at the, the, the high voltages though. This seem to be worth it. It's time to shine. Imitator does not imitate imitator. So it doesn't the, the difference would be as if it was damaged, it would not go back up to one four stats, it would stay. Um, you, things in this game never transform into themselves. So Pine Clone does not turn into Pine Clone. A king can turn another king into a knight, but it can't turn an already existing knight into a knight. <sighs> so Black IP isn't bad here. It actually wins the trade. It means he can do, like, king and stomp it on and stuff next turn. It's possible that I'll just need Berry Blast, though. Huh, the Berry Blast also is really good once we have Double Sergeant Strong Bear. Alright, because of all that, I'm gonna... I hope this doesn't come back to bite me. Letting the Flag Zombie live between turns here. Again, High Voltage Current, it's hard to play on turn 1, so I feel like the fact it fills in the 1 slot in this deck is a mistake. It could be there are gonna be decks, especially with a lot of Dino Roars, that it would be better. I don't know. I don't know, man. I've really been getting them in the starting hand here and wishing I hadn't. So, it's probably a sumo. Is there anything that Smash is going to play, even with four sun, four brains, because he has flag on the field, that can deal four damage? Beastly. And Hardy. You know, his four cost gravestone is a 2-6. I think this is safe here, and it is nice to be able to, you know, at least block something with the Imitator. It just gets a little bit more value. It's a Suma. Imitator doesn't actually move. It's got to be the Black IP. And uh, Tartan Strongberry does win the trade against Sumo, so we'll need to at least play another card to deal with this. Here we go. Hitting us for one, which means we'll block this three next turn. Which is super nice. So, Inbigin, Time to Shine's obviously here. Super's not going to be playable. Inbigin and Meteor will be, though. We could also go for Bananasaurus Rex. Is it worth it here? Nope. <laughs> nope, not at all. 
So even if he does something, escape through time would actually work here, but anything else he uses to even buff this. This will die to a certain Strongberry loop. Hopefully he doesn't have, um, uh, Galvanize. Adding 2-2. Two, two. God damn it. So it, it, you know, it ruins this. But at the end of the day, our sim really, like, our imitator essentially traded for Team Mascot plus Galvanize, plus he doesn't get any buffs anymore. So this is fine. It's the, uh, the loop that looks... Berry Blast actually is 3 plus 2. Um, it'll actually kill the... It'll kill the 5-5 five five, uh, that he just secret agented, so that's really good. But very likely I'm gonna go 1, 2, and 2. A fine play. There's Berry Blast. There's a... sorry. Garg. So 1, 2... Hmm. The cool thing is that once we... Th this will go up to 6-6. Six, six. If we double berry blast this, it'll be 3-2, and then 3. So this will go up to 1, it'll be 2-3-4, and I'll actually kill it. This is probably the right play. We just don't. He only has two cards left. Sorry, this will be one, two, three, four, five, six from the Sergeant Strong Ring. So here's the play. Guys. Really high value, high voltage card. And it's actually making us able to deal with this card now. It's going to be Berry Blast. It's only three shots, so that's all we need. And Berry Blast again. Taking away his thing that was really eliminating half of our health. Now he has a Flag Zombie with two cards. It's not even going to help. And he has no brains, so he can't deal with a 4-1. So that's the... That's the play. We could have gone face for a lot of damage, actually, this turn, but... Uh, we have card advantage. We'll take him out of his... Out of his game here. And honestly, this barely counts as a... This barely counts as a card. It's a 1-1. One, one. It's it's hardly going to get any value. Unless he's running Zombots and stuff, he's probably not even going to be able to benefit from the flag very much. Anymore. Yes, I finally learned Arithmetic. I hope you guys are uh, impressed. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's cool. See, this is a berry. So we can actually activate the Strawberry. It doesn't look like it's happening here. Theoretically, can activate Strawberry, though. Uh, so we'll just go Strawberryan and... Ooh, I screwed up. We don't Strawberryan there. It was Bananasaurus Rex. Sorry, my bad. My actual bad. Should I keep this alive? Probably. It's about as good of a use of that card as we get anyway. Plant. So I'll move the 4-1 the lane 4. The, the play was Bananasaurus Rex. And split pee and not even use the uh, scrub area. That's okay, using so many resources to deal with one card, and then we're dealing with the flag zombie. Maybe not, though, because this really does 3 plus 2 is 2 3 plus 3. Eh, misplay. Uh, time to shine will probably just be used for tempo right now. So this does 6, that's all we need. This is gonna be 3. Plus four. So Smash wants to hit the Bananasaurus Rex, so let's let th this at least prop the block and open up to six damage, rather than this hitting, him blocking the six, which we never want that to happen. And, um... Anyway. <laughs> want the b to prop the block. Got him! My Bananasaurus Rex! Better to develop the B-Rex there, so... <laughs> no justification. Maybe if if keeping the Sergeant Strongberry alive is better... Maybe it actually is. The Sergeant Strongberry really being able to play that... That grape was pretty good. Alright. I've excused myself. I'm... With the, high, the high voltage current was good there. It's just we don't really have ones. We, we have to, like, mulligan for click fee. I don't like it. <laughs> Oops. 
We don't have enough ones. What would I run in this deck instead of the high voltage current though? We'd run Bong Choi. Uh, we could run Blooming Heart though. That's a really good standalone card. I think it's better. I think high voltage current is a little more fun. I'll play two more games, how about this? This is the three. I'm gonna try high voltage for two more games and see how it goes. I think this one we want on the ground. There is a thing in this deck where middle lanes are reserved for strawberrians. Eh, I'd rather... I don't have a strawberry in it. If I had it, I'd play this in four. Uh, we still have a lane for the theoretical strawberry, in which we have not yet drawn. There you go. So, what's the play? We could go for Imitator, and then we can Imitator next turn and, and Gatling. It's not like he's gonna... He, you know, here Giganticus can't really deal with a 1-4. We can get triple Gatling. It's so fun, but the chances of both of these surviving, it's possible. We also have an option to... to Strawberryan. And the Strawberryan would want to go here. Alright. Screw it. Let's go for it. We're uh, theoretically going for triple Gatling. If not, we'll go for double Strawberryan and ping something. Such a slow play from him. Uh, I guess it's only turn three then. Superpowers aren't good at dealing with one four, so I guess that's the good news. <laughs> Get double double Sergeant Strongberry. It's a little bit hard not to double Sergeant Strongberry here, right? With this much damage. Yeah, that's the play. Love it. Seeing if one of these he could proc the block and get guy. I guess he could get freeze too, but plant food is just gonna wreck him next turn. No! Ugh, oh, no, okay. So he smashes, it's okay. There's the block, there's the... <laughs> Getting back in the game. A very blast, we go a really, 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 really long way right now. Uh, high voltage currents would be fine. They'd even be better. Didn't get it, there's Mug. Let's just take a peek in case it makes a difference. The mug's on the right. You click on the mug while it's going in, I don't know if you guys don't know. So, other than Smoke Bomb or Beam Me Up, Galling Pigo's face big time right now. Mug is here. We can go face for five. We can also go face for seven and have the set up for next turn, but... It's gotta just be... just be Galling, right? Also, we block and get Invigen, which puts him to 12. So that's gotta be right. The moment we get a berry, we can ping this. Let's see if he has a... Uh, okay, he has Freeze. Damn it, right, he has all these superpowers. Why did that cost zero? Why do these cost zero? Hey. He, oh, because he, he used HG power, though. I'm like, he didn't have space time. Where did that come from? Okay, wow. Yeah, we're gonna lose. <laughs> God damn it, HG power. It's too... It's not fit. What? He's... Wait, does this even retain its stats? I don't think it does. I don't think that's right. I'm pretty sure that's just a 5-5. Five five. He could have just gone... He didn't want to go... Oh, he didn't want to... He didn't want to proc our block this turn. Bruh. It's time to shine. So we have these two now. Let's see here. This is gonna be eight, nine. Sorry, eight. Uh, this will be six. Uh. So here's Mug again. We don't know what it is. So Mug is in one, Chemist is in two, Unnamed Thing in three, and Octos in four. So it's five. Five, four, blank, three. It's easier to remember. Five, four, I don't know, three. Five, four. I don't have anything that really survives here. Well, we actually have the imitator that survives. So five, four, nameless three drop, and then three. Five, four, I don't know, three. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, put the imitator where it's definitely gonna live. Okay. And this nameless three drop usually dies for damage, unless it's teleportation zombie. Oh, never mind. I screwed it up. <laughs> it was a five health guy anyway, so. Uh, the important thing is that the imitator lives. God damn it. He leaves though. He gets uh, with the highest attack card he could get. Six bullseye. Ugh. We're also not blocking anytime soon. Yeah, I know the cheat didn't work because it won't reveal any gravestones that were not out of the gravestone at the time he plays the mug. So it didn't even tell us the location. That's why it looked like the mug was in one, but it was really in two and this guy was in one. We gotta get something going with, with, uh... With time to shine here, man. This is... Wait, this goes to five. Hold on. Does Imitator win? This goes to five. Five. So this will make it six. Five. It's not definitely not lethal. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I, I'm running out of time. We have a limited time to take this turn now. I don't think I'd do this. Uh, it just depends what he has. But we got rid of the teleportation zombie, so that's the main thing. That's a really good sign. Leap. Uh, so he gets a 7 drop. It's healing. <laughs> He'd be a fool to even leap that again. Oh man, we're so done. <laughs> Could we have killed this? This is rough. We still have a combo in our hand, we just need to get to enough damage. Oh, he does a lane one. Jeez. We could have actually killed that card, but... Then we actually don't have a, have a way of winning. Too bad. So we got HG Hyrule. It happens! Man, once he played that HG power, <laughs> that's when the game turned around. It's not just on turn one, man. One more game for high again. High Volt. If imagine high voltage with a bonk joy. I wonder if that would have made a difference. <laughs> I'm not gonna review that whole game now. It's a curve. It's a fine curve. How much footage of PvZ Heroes do you have saved since the VODs are a couple weeks old? Well, I have someone who edits the, the daily videos for me. They just download it, the VODs from Twitch, which they save for 60 days. On my computer, I have uh, a couple of years worth. I think even on a, if you count what I have saved on a hard drive, I probably have since the beginning of 2019. Um, I just have a bunch of storage. Every once in a while, I want to go back and find footage from something for a highlight video. You know, so I, I keep everything for a few years and then kind of ditch it. I'm going to play around Total Eclipse and play the Sun Heights. Super bonus time to shine would not... It would have been lethal after the attack phase. He still would have been able to do that same leap play and beat us. So, so that's interesting. Um, Strawberrying is pretty good because it deals with this. We could imitate her. It's a little greedy. I think let's just strawberry and we'll at least drink. He could galvanize though. You know what? I forgot. He has a brain left. He was not able to use it. So really slow. Turn three play with the flag zombie. Oh. 
So again, unless he has Nibble, this is a pretty good play here. Uh, it'll play around him buffing. <clears throat> him buffing the Gargologist, because now, even if he adds two, he has Nibble, though. Looks like some Gargs are incoming. We'll have to get a Berry Blast or something right now. We have three plus two is how we play on Curve here. Ugh. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do then. It's pretty good. It's two, like, four, four. It's ridiculous, actually. <laughs> How good is Imitator Click be? Straight up. I'm thinking I'm gonna save middle lane. I'll let this die to Alien News. It's okay. And I'll save middle lane for if we get a Strawberry and it'll be really useful. Look at the turn five, two, four, fours. It's, it's as good of a turn five play as, uh, you know, Onion Ring's little buddy. If you're talking just that turn. You know, he didn't have a guard to play here. So he probably might have won this turn. Let's see what happens. There it is. I don't know what this man's doing. Next turn is, is going to be turn 7. I might just time to shine this down, man. So it's going to be you, Voltage, I mean, what is he even going to play next turn, though? He ain't going to play Zombot. Actually, he could play Zombot next turn. So do I time to shine this? What is he going to do? He passed turn 6. You know, Smash is not a removal expert. He could be going just for, like, this also plays around, um... Around uh, the Maniacal Laugh. Alright, guys. After my entire speech about not using Time to Shine as a tempo card... I think that's the key to winning this. It means we also can't play anything next turn. Ugh. Okay, thanks for rolling stoning that. I appreciate it. He just doesn't have anything. He had his Gargologist, and he just didn't have any. That's what's the story of this game. He had nothing. Zero. Donut. Give that man a Gargantuar. The cool thing is if he plays in the area, he automatically dies. So he can't even take advantage of his value environment la 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 <laughs> I think I'll convert this into a berry blast this turn we'll go four plus three put the three on top To, just for science, I'm gonna ditch the high voltage currents in this deck, and uh, I think Blooming Heart is a really good option for turn one. I think maintaining the tempo in this deck is gonna be good. Uh, it really just makes kind of your your threes and fours a little bit more viable. I think get Captain Cucumber in this deck somewhere too. But all right, let's do it like this. The Mana Guard. Another problem with Garg decks is if you run too many, you brick your early game. If you run too few, then how, how do you win? Uh, so it's a curve. It's technically a curve. I wonder if we just ditched the three. That's cool. This is probably better against Brainstorm, but let's let's actually okay. That's that's a better starting hand. I guess we'll try to flaming card on one. Might as well play around tracker territory.
Eureka, no bungee plumber, so this is a really, really strong card. And if he tries to deal with a black IP punish, it's really well. Should I recycle Great Zucchini? Is it a good card or no? I, I think it's a little bit expensive um, for what it does. It's completely outclassed by Dragon. I mean, Dragon is just so much better at, at one less cost, you know? So Berry Blast ain't bad here. It's, you know, it keeps this going. Oh, Black IP developing is... It, I mean, what's actually better, a 3-2? This doesn't necessarily even kill the 3-2. Having a developed Black IP is good. If he has a Bungie... I don't know, he just eureka -ed. This came from Eureka. So he only has two other Eureka cards. He clearly didn't have a Bungie last turn. Uh, my gut is actually Berry Blast. I don't think he's gonna play a trick this turn, which means Black IP is better. We have Black IP Meteor next turn if he... If he plays a minion. He does have Bungie. God damn it! <laughs> Black IP was better. Oh well. This is a very decent card against uh, Brainstorm, though. Demon Tater. 1 4. Really hard to deal with. Man is ramping. Ramping. That black IP would be like a 4 5 by now. Just saying. Damn, son. So, again, of the, you know, it could be Chemist. This guy feels like the guy who would run Chemist. Which means click P, uh, We could go click P, black IP. I think let's just be Rex. It's a really sad trade against Kim. It's really good against Teleportation Zombie, though. And it's fine against Sumo. Rai, are you, are you, are you pansexual? <laughs> Maybe. No, you guys are. That's why you're watching me. Got him. Hit him with the Uno reverse. Got him. Such a easy. Mm hmm. Cry about it. Uh, uh, beam me up. And Bungie. But. I guess it makes this more manageable. Man, this guy's got unlimited Bungie plumbers. <laughs> Your dad is unlimited. I don't know. Bruh! <laughs> Soldier Boy coming on in! So, he blocks 5 damage here, so doing 5 plus 5 is not even necessarily good. I think I'm gonna go click P. Blam. Black IP. Bloom's the one we want to hit, so in case we roll a 1. And we'll hit him with the Gatling next turn. Bungie, Bungie, finally punishing this guy for his third Bungie. I was like, I wonder, I don't think he has one, even one Bungie plumber. The man had three. Like, literally had threes. This doesn't do anything unless it's Toxic Wasted. Jeez, three attacks pretty high. He's still, he's still rolling. We actually have Meteor plus Gatling here, which should be fine. Gatling's just going right here. All right, all right, I'll take five damage over a 2 2 at this stage. I have to use the Meteor offensively, just to be able to finish off the Brainstorm. He's running Cake. Still punished. At least he doesn't have any as Rocket, okay. We are not in good shape, we don't got cards! Pass! See if this can develop. Only got three cards, that's the good news. He's ramping to nothing. I died. He's never gonna use the extra brains. He's got wrath. I hope he doesn't have a lake in card. Can you just play that last card, please? <laughs> There's a Valk. That's definitely above average. Uh, he used the wrath last turn, which is very cool, too. Probably this should have gone in lane four, so things proc the block before it hits. Your final missions, kind of like a two for one, so I guess that's okay in this card advantage game that we are in. I think that's fine. 
I don't think we imitate her here, though, because we might have a bad card that we want to play before this next turn. He burns another cry of rain. This man, I don't know what this man. We just need like a Gatling PM when we get to go. <laughs> so one will go on heights, one goes on the ground. That is top deck madness. We'll save the very bless. I want the five damage, not rocking the blocking. Five and five wins now. Helicopter, helicopter. And? And beam me up. He survived, but... Now we are ahead. I love how these trades, yeah? And there's five, roll one. Yes. He almost dead. God, it's plant food. Hopefully no gravestone and we're good. Yay! So, that game was not pretty. Far from, almost got controlled by Brimstern. The Cry of Rains just killed him there. Imagine those Cry of Rains were just like three drops. Just anything, man. We would have died. This is the first time we. Here's Cube. Sniping him up. <sighs> To someone from the stream. Turn your stream off, Cube. Come on, Cube. Come on, man. I wonder if we go for a one against Brainstorm. It's not even that good. Happy answer to comments. That's fine. He has a bungee. Oh, hell yeah. The strawberry and goes here. That's what he does. We're playing around Trapper. We're also playing in to beat me up. Alright, let's do it. Bro! Wait. This isn't the same guy. No, it's not. Honestly, the click peep play is probably the best. Let's go with that. Hello. I like Pinecone Express. Hello. Get a couple three threes. Damn, Imitator Click P. I love how Imitator makes your, in this case, your early game card like viable in the late game. Pretty good one. It's a card. Okay. That's okay though. It's doing a little damage, but we, we, we're just getting card advantage now. And that's also a free kick that doesn't hit one of these more valuable cards. I'm a low on berries though, so maybe those high voltage currents were worth it. I don't know. Another fruitcake, so we have to just stay alive now. Because uh, we have card advantage, but he has health advantage. So that's really what the whole game is about right now. We can go 6 into 3 plus 4. That's probably it. I think so. Not a bad loco coco. It blocks this. It also puts like you have to fruit cake this for this to go face. It cuts the damage. It also counters the one three really well. And uh, sets up certain strawberries pretty well. So we'll have seven. This happens on nine. Let's see what happens. Here. 
la 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 The flame. Oh, uh, wow, nothing on turn seven. Oh, what is going on here? What, what, how does he have four cards in his hand and nothing? Just complete donut on seven. So, plant food is just gonna win here. It'll do five and then loop him until he's down to one. Yeet! 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 You run defensive and then smash sports, you could. You could. It's not really the best card. The amount of impact it has when you play it, it's not always great. Sometimes it is, if they're going for a lot of tricks. How did this guy survive? Sheesh. Berry Blast, a plant food, and anything away. Uh, the swims. No, 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 you're not balking me right now. Are you serious? Oh my god, oh no! <laughs> I can't believe we lost that one, bro. I can't believe it. Well done, Q. Well done. OTK Valk, man. No good strategy. Yes, it is. Damn, we got controlled. We had lethal, man. That was rough. Is that Falcom worthy? Not really, but that's pretty good. We'll just leave those moments in. Out of the fail comps. It's just why you guys gotta 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 come to the streams, watch the daily videos. You wanna see all the action. Man, I'm s I am salt. I am absolute salt right now. What is this? Looking for a two. Get wrecked. Yeah, I thought I, I I thought it was just a gimme. Imagine if he played something very blessful here. Our hand sucks. For real. It sucks out loud. Now, he did, you know, other than Neptuna Super or Blow, it's possible that you have Blow and just didn't use it. It's Captain Combustible, so greedy here. All right, I'll say. I feel like if they had Blow, so let's just presume it's either going to be one of the other two superpowers. It's Frenzy. Is it Encrypt? It's encrypt. Encrypt and Frenzy. That's fine. There I Yes. I don't know why I'm still playing around below. No, I shouldn't. Gotcha. 
Really nice when he's playing a dry minion to deal with something else. You just develop the Uranus. That's the perfect time, because it's not a strong card. It does a lot of damage, but it's easily removed. But So it does three, you proc the block, and then we have a 4-4 four, four double strike in the field. It's just so hard to deal. If he plays another coach, we basically win. La 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 la. Really matter. <laughs> it's gotta just be in crypt, yeah. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Hi, by the way. <laughs> so sweet. I'm still sorry. This guy's name is Trash Bag. <laughs> no, it's Trash Tag. <laughs> Get it. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Two, three, four, five. Should I just keep this in? Right. We gotta get the good imitator Galling P here, guys. Uh, Agro Pets could actually be a pro. Honestly, if you play Zookeeper, I front it. I, I can't. I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. No more of that. No, no, no. <laughs> Gosh. Give this man. I don't even know. Give this man Sergeant Strongberry so we can zap this guy. It's just a lot of aggression. Why so aggressive? Hover go. Please get this one. God damn it. <laughs> We're so screwed, I don't know. What are we gonna do? What are we actually gonna do here? Imitator where though? We can't block anything. I could just control him like this. This is probably the play actually. Yup. We're playing control Captain Combustible, don't ask. This has got to be the right play. Blockies? Meteories? I think we'll just keep the one damage here. We'll give us block charge. And just like that, we are stable! We are stable! Here comes the Yeti! Here we go. You know what I say? I say we use... Actually, that comes right off the board. Never mind. I was thinking of using him begging, but on the other hand, I say screw this guy now. It's a 1-4. He can have the Yeti back. I don't care if he has this back. I'm getting double gallings, guys. So this Chumba, 1-4. This is really how you optimize the use of imitators. It's at least chump blocking. Something which happens to go off the board anyway, which is cool. And then it just turns into something way, way over its pay grade. Uh, it's turned into an almighty Gatling P here. We also have Sergeant Strongberry. Zam. wonder if I'll go for that. So this will go up to three. This will usually have three attack. I wonder if I just Gatling him to face. I think Sergeant Strongberry is just too slow here. Let's go. Double Gatling. Holy crap. Why did that start as a 3-2? Because he got it from Cosmic Yeti. So it gets buff stats. Please not lane 2. Please not lane 2. Yes, perfect. Rolling 3s. There's no real point in this, right? Aggro pets, man. This game's coming right down to it. The best case scenario is if he just spends all six of the sun here. Because then we can just jump block him. We have to play on going viral. 
That's it. I mean, he's empty. He can lunchbox, but they, they, he can't go in viral. So we just clear his field here and we win. This is the sad reality of pets. It is the sad reality of pets. We we want... I'd love if this died, actually, because we don't want to proc his block here. Anyway. It's uh, going to be... A you. A you. And a you. You still get six, though. Holy crap. In fact, a pet card would a lunchbox and would win in the last line. In fact, if he blocks and he gets any of his superpowers, he also wins. I think this is guaranteed lethal for him. I don't know if I screwed this up. I guess I have to let this. No, Acid Rain is the one that doesn't. Okay, because all the other ones are pet are pet superpowers, and this would actually go up. Gosh, so we still have a shot in this game now. Winnable, we also roll a three. Uh, <laughs> oh man! Bruh. And that's it. So we go Gatling for the win. For the win. <laughs> Got him. Uh, I don't know, he doesn't have any free things, but uh, I guess that's just BM. Oh, it's the wall, anyway. Got him! Oh, that was so close! Aggro pets, if you don't have, like, a lot of Berry Blast, we're only running the four Berry Blast, so we didn't really get Strawberry, and we were forced to play early. If you don't have a lot of removal, aggro pets can be dangerous, but again, the weakness of aggro pets is, is what we just saw. Even in this good matchup for aggro pets, if you're just throwing zombies on the board and you're not going for a play with tricks, you're not playing responsibly, yeah, this is what your opponent can do to you. Especially Caps Combustible on turn oh, 7, I don't want to turn to this. But uh, we got him, boys. Alright, so we're in a 7-2 and two scenario. All the points are on the line. Yo, guys... Damn, that was close. God dang. God dang. Here we go, guys. It's a like 7 and 2 snail. Spam it up. We got some subscribers. What? We have no subscribers? None of you guys subscribe? 7 and 2. Let's go. 7 and 2. Spam it up. Unos, dos. Quack. Maybe we'll just keep this as a versatile play. Alright, screw it. We have the nice aggressive start against uh, the dude. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. Huge Gigantuchus. One of our losses today. Just for the record. It all comes down to this, boys. Bruh. So, what could it be? It could be Ice Pyre, which would be devastating. It's usually just Teleportation Zombie, which dies to Berry Blast next turn. Um, and then Drone Engineer. Could be Swashbuckler. It could be Monkus. It's usually just Teleportation Zombie, though. So, I'm going to... I don't think we... Well, this is... Uh, it's a play on Curve. Alright, I'll just play this. To play on curve, we gotta play this, the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, it's Mungus. I'm glad I didn't see for this. Uh, we do have to play around pirates now. Honestly, he spends a lot of resources to deal with a one-drop, so his, his Ice Moon, you know, it, it lost the freeze, which is a huge part of it. Uh, using Super to kill space-time is probably correct here. Oh, we can also just use Berry Blast. He does not gonna have an answer to it. So this always happens. It just means he has to deal with this, which means the strawberries. I honestly want the Berry Blast for later with the strawberries. It's gonna be better. This just becomes such a huge threat that he can't deal with right now. He's gonna have to front it next turn, and it's gonna just slow him down way too much. 
graveyard. We haven't really had great opportunities to play our Blazing Bark anyway in this deck, because we're, we have, you know, a curve. So it's going to be Strongberry here, I guess. It's a little bit odd because we sort of want the Strawberryan to be here. The Strawberryan doesn't really do anything against the Gravestone. It, it's too awkward to put this in front of a 2-1. There's too many ways this could die. I think he's just going to Thinking Cap or something now in turn 4. So slow, man. He's actually tanking this well. <laughs> actually, playing this here means the 7 damage usually goes face. Let's see if we can proc the block with you. See if we can roll one. Oh my gosh, so... so uh, he's dead. The... M <laughs> la 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 Should I BM this guy more? Why does it say he has nine brains, guys? Anyone know why he has nine brains? Anyone? <laughs> Why does it say nine? Doesn't make sense. Alright, I'll give him one turn to come back into this game, guys. This is just pure BM. I'm giving him one last chance. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh oh, uh oh. That that superpower. Why do these cost three? Why does it say it costs three? The game is drunk. The game's drunk. Both of those super he went down from he played two superpowers. He went from nine to two. <laughs> I don't even know what's going. Oh my god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. He got healed. Oh, yeah, we're still very blessed. <laughs> Die! <laughs> what was that, though? <laughs> I don't understand. The hell was that? This guy's hacking. Oh, it's just some visual glitch. Ooh. Rank 49, man. Not by. Not by it at all. <sighs> All right, guys. So the score is eight and two. A very fine stream, a fine deck. I think this was good. I think it. I think the theory worked. It's combining two strategies. Each of them have different strengths, and combining them into one. Heck yeah. I. I. I it seemed like the. Um, what the hell just happened here? It seemed like the high voltage currents were holding us back. So. Oh my gosh. Ah. Yeah. Sorry, I was just fixing the highlight. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally pasted a screenshot of my entire PC into the highlight instead of pasting the, the name of the stream it was in. Alright, that is definitely going on YouTube. The final score is 8 and 2. Congratulations to everyone who voted yes for Captain Combustible. Why would you ever vote no for Captain Combustible? That's the real question. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace. This is right.